I'm recording this video for my GCSE electronics students and you can use the video to prepare for the upcoming year 11 mock exam. If you follow the videos this is going to give you a very very clear idea about how to answer the questions. All you'll then need to do is just to apply your common sense and uh, general knowledge from studying electronics to hopefully be able to answer the questions without any difficulty. So there shouldn't be any surprises so long as you watch the videos. So the diagram shows a pinout for an integrated circuit. Uh, hopefully you would recognise this immediately as being uh, AND gates. And uh, hopefully you also know that this, this cutout here shows you the orientation of the IC and also this, which is available on most uh, integrated circuits. You actually see this on most, uh, there's like a little circle there, or a recess or something, and that, that indicates pin 1, okay? So label pin six on this IC. Well, we start from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It says label it. So pin six is what I'm going to write there. Okay. Um, so I'd get one mark for that. How many logic gates are there on the IC? Well, hopefully you can see that there's one, two, three, four. So that should be an easy one to answer. How many inputs does each gate have? Well, once again, this should be quite easy. Hopefully you can see that this is the output and there are two inputs. Okay, so, and each one of them has exactly the same type of logic gate. It's a two input and gate. So how many inputs does each gate, not total, but each gate have? And that's going to be two. I'll name the type of logic gate. Well, I've already said that several times over. It's an and gate. Hopefully you Remember, this is an AND gate. It looks a little bit like a capital D AND. You might um, find that useful. AND gate. Capital letters, please. OK, so each one of those would have got one mark so far. And it says, for each of the following truth tables, name the logic gate and draw the symbol. So name the logic gate and draw the symbol. Hopefully you will recognise this immediately as a NAND gate. Now, if you don't recognise it as a NAND gate, think about it. Like if this were an AND gate, so if I were to do this, if this were B and A column, well, 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0, and 1 and 1 is 1, okay? Now, hopefully you can see that these, these here are the opposites of each other. So in other words, it's not A and B, it's um, A and B, all right? So it's an AND gate. Anyway, name the logic gate, NAND. Capital letters, please. Draw the symbol. Well, it looks like an AND gate, but then it's inverted, so it has that circle on there, okay? It's only the symbol. Uh, if you were to write input names as well, like A and B and, and Q, um, I don't think that's just needed, but you know, you can do it if you want. I don't think that'd be a problem. OK, so now we've got to identify this one. Uh, hopefully you will see that if any of the inputs or all of the inputs are true, the output's true. So that is an OR gate. Capital letters, please. And draw the symbol. Make sure if you, if you need to draw an OR gate, make sure that it's got that curved bit there and it goes down to a point like so. OK, once again, if you had the inputs uh, labelled uh, entirely optional and, and not actually needed. Okay. Right, that's it for the first question. I will be posting more videos. We're going to have a look at uh, all of the questions in this paper. And as I say, every question is a very, very strong candidate for what you're going to see in the mock exam, but slightly different. Use this paper to prepare. Watch the video. See if you can answer the questions. Good luck, but do keep on watching the videos. Thank you.